वेलकम टू वन मेगा वीडियो चैनल सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल लाइक द वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स In this video we will learn royal history with Queen Margaret the 2nd of Denmark's jewelry collection in pictures. This is part 1 of the video. Check the part 2 in the end. The Pearl Poire Parur and the Khedive of Egypt Tiara. When in 16th of April, Queen Margaret the 2nd of Denmark celebrated her 82nd birthday. She is the daughter of King Frederick the 9th and Queen Ingrid, born as Princess of Sweden. She was born in 1940 at Amalienborg Palace in Copenhagen. Queen Margaret is the third cousin of Queen Elizabeth the 2nd and is the great-great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria. In our picture, we can see on April 13, 2010, at her picture gala, she turned 70. Queen Margaret wore historic jewels known as the Pearl Poire Parur. and the khedive of egypt era danish television aired a special program about the royal jewels and it featured interviews with crown princess mary who had the honor of wearing this historic ruby parur in her role as future queen consort let us know more about the danish royal family's royal jewelry collection in this video series a queen jewelry box launch in january 2022 In celebration of Queen Margaret II's Golden Jubilee in the year 2022, a new exhibition focusing on her jewelry was showcased in Copenhagen. A Queen's Jewelry Box: 50 Years on the Throne, Told Through Jewelry. It was officially opened by Queen Margaret herself along with her son, Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark. The monarch and Crown Prince couple attended the event at the Amalienborg Museum in Christian the 8th Palace on January 21, 2022. In a touching show of affection towards her mother-in-law, Crown Princess Mary wore a new brooch designed specially for the queen to mark her 50th year of the Danish throne. The George Jensen Jubilee brooch. When royal warrant holder George Jensen crafted a unique piece of jewelry to celebrate Queen Margaret II of Denmark's 50 years on the Danish throne, the design takes inspiration from the Queen's motto, God's help, the love of the people, Denmark's strength, as well as Her Majesty's long-held passion for said design. The 18 carat gold beam represents the help of God. The golden heart symbolizes the love of the people, and the design's round shape is a reference to Denmark's unbreakable strength. The jubilee piece featured 50 grooves along the edge, representing the The years since Queen Margaret II's accession to the throne in the year 1972. On January 13th, Queen Margaret II was presented with a special edition of the brooch studded with 135 brilliant cut diamonds. A similar version of the brooch along with matching pendant and pin can be purchased with donation going towards the Queen Margaret and Prince Henrik Foundation supporting projects with a scientific or social purpose. Ponot Sapphire Brush As many of us know, Queen Margaret II is related to many of Europe's royal houses. She is a great-great granddaughter of Queen Victoria and is a third cousin of Queen Elizabeth II. The Danish royal family has blood ties to many of the Europe's royal houses, including those in Britain, Norway, Greece, Russia, and Sweden, resulting many of Margaret's jewels linking to other royal families. Here in the above picture, in the year 1998, the Queen wears what is known as the Connaught Sapphire Brooch, which has links to the British royal family. The brooch was given to Princess Louis Margaret of Prussia when she married Prince Arthur, Duke of Connaught, the third son of Queen Victoria, in the year 1879. After her death in 1920, the sapphire brooch was inherited by her daughter, Crown Princess Margaret of Sweden, who passed it on to her daughter, who later became Queen Ingrid of Denmark, Queen Margaret's mother. The Connaught Sapphire Brooch. This brooch came to Crown Princess Mary in the year 2005 when Queen Margaret II gave it to her daughter-in-law. The queen presented this jewel to Crown Princess Mary to mark the birth of her first son, Prince Christian of Denmark, in October 2005. Mary wore the brooch for the first time at Prince Christian's christening in January 2006, and when her twins were baptized in the year 2011, which are pictured here. Most recently, Mary wore the brooch to Prince Christian's confirmation in the year 2011. Crown Princess Mary spoke about being gifted such 
such a historic piece of jewelry in the documentary The Congolese Jeweler The Royal Jewels Some people learn history through wars or famous people but jewelry is just as good as a possibility to learn history Crown Princess Mary says in the documentary it shows how the families have married through the generations and it doesn't only talk about lineage but it also relates to personal events in families Ruby Horseshoe Brooch This ruby horseshoe brooch would be Queen Margaret's most sentimental. Although being one of her smallest and understated jewels, it was given to Queen Margaret II by her father, King Frederick IX, in 1953, when the Act of Succession was changed, giving women the right to succeed the throne and allowing her to be the queen. Queen Margaret II was just 13 years old. Years later, when she accepted the throne in 1972, she wore the brooch as she was proclaimed Denmark's monarch. On January 14, 2022, the day of her golden jubilee, Margaret wore this brush again in a touching tribute to her late father she is photographed here above visiting his tomb at roskilde cathedral on the day she marked 50 years on the throne the pearl poire parur Queen Margaret II recently marked 50 years as Denmark's monarch and this portrait was issued by the palace for this historic occasion. In the above picture we can see the 81 year old wears a parur, a set of jewels usually consisting of a necklace, earrings, brooches and bracelets that were all originally separate pieces. The pearl poire tiara, poire is French for pure, is believed to have been made in Germany around 1825 and belong to Margaret's royal ancestors from Prussia, Sweden and the Netherlands. It came to Denmark through Queen Louisa, who married the future King Frederick VIII of Denmark in 1869, the tiara came with a brooch and pendants, and Louisa was lucky to receive a similar pearl and diamond necklace from the Khedive of Egypt as a wedding present. She later used part of the necklace to make a pair of earrings, creating a stunning and very opulent set of matching jewels. She also added a huge pearl and diamond cluster brooch, which was originally part of a necklace gifted by Russia's Tsar Alexander III and his wife Maria Fedorovna. who was originally princess dagmar of denmark frederick's sister the pearl poire parur when louisa died her will stated the parur could not be separated and it must be passed from monarch to monarch queen margaret the second wears this entire set of jewels more than any other including the crown jewels thus showing its importance and sentimental value and unlike the crown jewels this collection can be taken outside of denmark allowing margaret to wear it to most of the important events abroad including state visits and royal weddings here in the picture above the monarch wears the pearl poire parur to a banquet at windsor castle hosted by Queen Elizabeth II in February 2000 The Pearl Poire Parur A key part of Margaret's jewelry style is to mix and match. Here in above picture we can see she wears the large diamond and pearl brooch, but this time as a pendant attaching it to a necklace. The brooch consists of five dangling pearl drops. This look was worn for a state banquet at Frederiksberg Palace during a visit by Japan's Emperor Akihito and his wife Empress Michiko in June 1998. This is the end of part 1 of the video. Take the part 2 over here. Among the European royal houses, Queen Margaret II of Denmark has most eclectic and one of the grandest jewelry collections. The most important jewels in her collection are the crown jewels, which cannot leave Denmark. Along with that, she has several personal pieces. The monarch has gifted several of her pieces to her daughter-in-law, Crown Princess Mary of Denmark and Princess Marie. Some of Queen Margaret's jewels were passed through other royal families to her, and some were inherited from her ancestors. In this video, we saw some of the magnificent jewels of Queen Margaret II of Denmark and learned some of the history which is associated with the jewels. In the next part, we will learn some more lessons from the history associated with the royal jewel collection of Queen Margaret II. Looking at this video, which are the things which you were not aware earlier and have newly learned from this video, and what do you love about the Danish royal family, and what other known and unknown facts that you are aware about the royal family? Share your thoughts to comment below, like the video, and share with your friends and subscribe. subscribe to the channel thank you for watching one mega video channel enjoy your life and have a nice day